Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, this is the November BAM box, and it's the original BAM box, not horror, because as you can tell, nothing here says horror. Now, the horror BAM box is sitting right here. I'm not gonna unbox it in the exact same video as the original. It's gonna be separate, but it's just sitting here because I'm gonna shoot it right after. Both of these videos will be going up at almost the same time, so same night, so it'll be there. So if you wanna see the BAM box horror, look for the other video and vice versa. Um, so. These are late, uh, not the fault of the BAM box company, but the fault of the US Postal Service because they suck. Uh, this box, for some reason they're different. The original BAM box is shipped first class, which is three or less days to be delivered, and the BAM horror box is shipped two day delivery. So they should have reached on the same day, and they did come on the same day, but they both came after six days. Not three, not two, but six days. That is awful. False advertising. I feel like the US Postal Service owes money to the BAM box for not providing the service that they purchased from them. So <clears throat> you suck US Postal Service for this. Now there's a lot of frustration for people like me who do unboxing videos and put them on YouTube because that takes away from views. If you are very, very early to put up unboxing videos, you get you know, way more views than if you put it up like now. I'll probably put up this unboxing video, I'll get maybe 10 views or something. You get pretty much nothing if it's days after other people got the box. So these, I mean, I thought about actually not even doing these videos, but then I was just like, ah, eh, someone's gonna watch it. So for them, I'll put it up. But sorry, that's my rant. <laughs> um, and when I get to the end, the actual um, item booklet in here, I'll have to, reference my phone because apparently they had some uh, errors in that booklet so they put it online through their Facebook and said look at this instead we had some issues so I'll check that afterwards anyway uh, I've been hearing good things about the original November BAM box so hopefully it's really good um, I had seen some of the properties that they had for it and was not all that excited about it just because it was things that I'm personally not excited about but so make sure I don't see but who knows you know and and I always talk about it I'm just like well you know maybe not good for me but good for other people tissue paper from a cat because she loves it and I'm sure she's gonna be excited I got two boxes so she'll get double tissue paper um, oh one of the other things they were doing with the original BAM box for each November one they were doing um, or not for each one but Every one in 20 was going to get a, a different style looking box. It was just a brown box because it was also gonna have a celebrity signed pop in it. So obviously we did not, or I did not get that. So a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, anyway, let's do this. This thing seems odd. Oh, it's a part of something. It looks like it's, you set something in it. By the way, sorry for the lighting the lighting sucks i like to do this like during the day and i would have been able to if the friggin u.s postal service would have delivered these boxes when they were supposed to get to me so i could have done it on the weekend during the day but there's like a stand for something let's see if i can find is this what it is for this what in the world is this what is this push there's a a coin uh oh okay i see what it is this is a coin from game of thrones game of thrones is one of the properties you can see it. Ugh, it's hard with the you can see it this is like a cowl or something some like chainmail headpiece and then it has on the side it's like valar doharis valar morgulis like that thing there's the d and if i turn it this way it's an m so that's what it says around here is Valar Margolis Valar Valar de Harris. So apparently I can open this and get the coin out. I guess it's supposed to sit in there. Yeah, okay, so it actually sits in there. I would just need to open it up so I can move the coin more towards the middle and like properly display it. But um that's actually kind of cool. Uh I'm not huge on Game of Thrones. I have actually I have read a lot of the Song of Ice and Fire books by George R. R. Martin. And I started watching the show, but then he didn't have enough books for the material. And they started surpassing the books in the show. And I'm like, eh, I don't want that because I want stuff from the books. So anyway, a patch. 
If people have been watching my unboxing, do you know I'm done with patches? I don't like patches. I don't want any more patches. But here we have a patch. <sighs> okay. I mean, it's it's good. It's a good design. Obviously, it's Autobots from Transformers. Like, design looks good. Okay, that's fine. I don't like patches. And one of the things that bothers me about that, that's fine to put it in there every now and then. I'm bothered because... Bambox has said they have like certain pillars of things that they always want to put in boxes. Pins are one, art prints are another, autographs are another. Those are the three main things. Oh, and then they also want to have like replicas from obviously like this is the replica from Game of Thrones. Totally cool, totally fine. They never said anything about doing patches and they've been doing patches in every box for the past bunch of times not cool don't like it because you never said that was going to be a pillar of it i didn't sign up for that i don't want it stop you can do it every now and then stop for a little bit this is getting ridiculous all right next the pin always love the pins oh man all right Ooh. oh was this one a uh did i get a one-up yes i did get a one-up very nice cool i got a one up i like it sweet I, I looked at the pin and i'm like it says only 500 of these made it must be a one up so this is a pin for terminator you know i'm not a big terminator fan but i like this pin this pin is very very nice as are the quality of the pins are always really good so look at this pin look at that terminator machine skull sweet and that's only 500 of those made i like it that's really nice i'm down all right, now we have doo -doo 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 -doo, piece of artwork from uh, this is uh, art print is Maximum Carnage, and it's hand signed by the artist Brett Weld Weldell Weldell. Oh, this is cool. The art of Brett Weldell or Weldell. I don't know. I got number one thousand five hundred thirteen out of twenty five hundred. So as you can see, it kind of like a funky style of art yeah, that actually looks better sorry for the glare like a little funky style of art it's cool that's nice i don't see enough carnage stuff so it's cool to get carnage stuff like that that's i like that usually really like the art prints so next we have this is part of the autograph eight by ten photo hand signed by diane pershing who voiced poison ivy in Batman the Animated Series. Oh, that's pretty cool. I remember watching Batman the Animated Series a um, long time ago when I was much, much younger. And yeah, that's cool. If we're going to have stuff like that, like look at that. That's a cool print. Her in a bunch of different poses. And obviously there's a signature down there. Really cool. That's nice. I like that. That's cool. I like it. And then the last thing looks like another. Aha. This is the Stranger Things item. Oh. Okay. So this is a Hawkins police badge from Strang the show Stranger Things. Specifically, it even says on the outside of the box Hopper um, police badge. So that would be Jim Hopper because it says police chief. Hawkins police chief. That's good. And it's very, very heavy. It's metal. Like with a lot of replicas, when they do metal, they do like actual metal. The coin is metal as well. Good quality. Okay. Um, overall, this is a good box. Um, that's cool. And it actually, I didn't show you. The way I was holding it, it actually has like a pin on the back. So you can like pin it into your shirt or whatever you want to wear. So actually, this could really come in handy for next year if anyone wants to do a Halloween costume. That'd be good. Obviously, the pin's really cool, especially because it's a one-up. <clears throat> like, the design on the patches are always fine, but I don't want patches. I don't want patches. Uh, autograph is good. Um, definitely good. The Carnage art print is good. The art prints are pretty all, pretty much always good. And the coin's kind of cool. I like it. So, the, um, yeah. So, that was it. Not bad. Uh, down with it. Pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with it. But like I said, stop doing the patches, please. Just give it a rest. Give it a rest for a little bit. And to USPS. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Oh, I was about to wrap it up. But I, as I told you, I wanted to see 
what were the special things? We need to look through a thing. Okay, so as far as, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. I'll give it a shot. But another limited edition one was the T2 from Terminator with his eye blown open. And the regular pin was Arnold. If you can see. The Arnold looks bad. Like, it doesn't even look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. The T2 looks good with the eye issue. I definitely think I got the best of them. So I'm down with that. Autobots versus Decepticons badges. I probably would have rather had the Decepticons one just because I like Decepticons more. But whatever. like Or patches. But whatever. I don't really care for the patches. Oh, okay. I see what they did here. So there are two different prints for the Ivy uh, autograph. The one I got and then another one that actually looks really cool. And the pop, the one in 20 box pop, was from her. But she signed a pop of Ivy, which actually I would have preferred to have that. That would be really cool. But look at that. Those are good prints, though. Good prints, good pop. Pretty cool. Then there's the Hopper badge. There's not much to it. It was exactly what I showed you. No variations or anything. And then the Carnage print, there was a limited edition of 250. It was just a darker color in the background, as you can see. You know, when they make those differences, it's not a big difference to me, so it's whatever. I don't really care that I got the non-one-up one. And then the coin, the coin was just the coin. Uh, Iron Coin of the Faceless Man is what it is. You can see right there some good close-ups of it because I couldn't really show you all that well with the one that I had. So they have a thing about their one-up. Uh, they're having a contest to win an Andy Circus signed Supreme Leader Snoke Funko Pop that has to do with, obviously the next Star Wars, which I'll just zoom in on that particular pop sign so you can see. All right, good enough. Now I can wrap it up. Thanks everyone for checking this out. Um, thanks for bearing with me when, with my rant in the beginning. But uh, check out the horror unboxing, which I'm even more excited for because I like horror a lot more. Anyway, until next time, keep it brutal.